In this lecture, I'm going to be talking about the derivatives of log functions. So we need to start with what is the derivative of the log base a of x. Um, if you recall when we did the derivatives of our inverse trig functions, we made use of what we knew about the um, inverse of those functions, the derivatives of our regular trig functions, and then we used implicit differentiation. We're going to use a similar technique here. Um, I'm interested in finding the derivative of a function y, where y is equal to log base a of x. Um, I know that this log equation here can also be written as an exponential equation. So by rewriting this, I see that if y is equal to log base a of x, that means a to the y is equal to x. Um, of course, for x here, greater than 0. So now I can look at doing the derivative of both sides of this equation, where I know how to take the derivative of um, some kind of exponential function of base a in order to help me get at my derivative of this function y. So we're going to take the derivative of both sides here. So we've got d dx of a to the y equals d dx of x. And I'm going to have to use um, the chain rule on the left-hand side, use what we do in implicit differentiation. So I know the derivative of um, a number raised to a variable power is the number raised to that power um, times the natural log of my base, the natural log of a, and then times dy dx. Using my chain rule, I have to multiply times the um, derivative of that inside function. And this is going to be equal to my derivative of x, which is 1. So now I just need to solve for dy dx. So we have dy dx is equal to 1 over a to the y natural log a. Then remembering that y here is equal to log base a of x, or reminding ourselves here that we have a to the y equals x, we can now write our derivative in terms of x as y over x ln a. Okay, so this gives us our derivative rule. So now we have that the derivative of the log base a of x is 1 over x natural log a. Okay, so we want to see how this um, rule can now help us get the derivative rule for our natural log function. So I want to find the derivative of the natural log, and then I want to generalize that to what's the derivative of the log of um, some function g of x. So remember, our rule from the previous slide was that the derivative of log base a of x is 1 over x log a, natural log of a. So if I'm doing the derivative of the natural log of x, I'm going to have 1 over x natural log, and then we know that with the natural log function, a is equal to e, our base is e, so I'm going to have 1 over x natural log e. Well, we know the natural log of e is 1, so we get this simplified derivative rule for the derivative of the natural log of x. So we have the derivative of the natural log of x equals 1 over x as our next derivative rule. Now, a common um, mistake when dealing with um, this derivative rule is to mistakenly um, think that the derivative of 1 over x is log x. So remember that the derivative of 1 over x uses the power rule, because 1 over x is x to the negative 1. Um, so our derivative of x to the negative 1 is negative x to the negative 2. So the derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared, whereas the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, if I want to generalize this now to the derivative of the log of some function, okay, then I'll be using my new log rule together with the chain rule. So when I have the derivative of log of g of x, I have to do the derivative of the outside function which is going to be 1 over g of x, 1 over whatever we have inside of the log function. And then using chain rule, this would have to be times g prime of x. So it's useful to remember this as sort of its own rule, because frequently we're dealing with derivatives of um, not just log of x, but log of some more complicated function. So remember that the derivative of log of g of x is g prime of x over g of x. So I'm going to look at a couple more rules, and then we'll look at a couple of um, examples. Okay. So what about the, the derivative of the log of the absolute value of x? We've already said that uh, excuse me, the derivative of 
log of x is equal to 1 over x, but here this would only apply to um, values that are in the domain of the natural log function, so that means only when x is greater than 0. So what about doing the derivative of log of the absolute value of x? So now x could be negative because I'm taking the absolute value of it, so it makes sense to do log of the absolute value of x. So how we can go about this is by breaking up the um, log of absolute x into two different functions based on whether x is negative or positive. So log of the absolute value of x is log of x as long as x is strictly greater than 0, and it would be log of negative x if x is strictly less than 0. We know that log of 0 itself is undefined, so this piecewise function um, would be undefined at 0. Now we can look at doing the derivatives of um, each of these pieces separately. So the derivative of log of absolute value of x, well the derivative of log of x is 1 over x, so we'd have 1 over x when x is greater than 0. The derivative of log of negative x, well now that's like log of some function g of x, where g of x is negative x. So we know that um, the derivative of log of g of x is 1 over g of x, so in this case 1 over x, times the derivative of g of x, so in this case times negative 1, which equals 1 over x. Okay. So we see that no matter which piece we're in, the derivative of log of the absolute value of x is going to turn out to be 1 over x. So we also get this rule, the derivative of the log of absolute value of x is equal to 1 over x. Okay, so we've got three different log rules that we've looked at. We've got our general log rule, log base a of x um, derivative, which is 1 over x natural log a. We've got our natural log derivative rule, and the extension of that, which is the derivative of the log of the absolute value of x. So let's just look at a couple of examples. So we want to find the derivatives of each of the following functions. So we have f of x is sine x natural log of 5x. What we have here is a product, because we have sine of x times the natural log of 5x, so we're going to have to use the product rule. So we'll have f prime of x is, let's see, our first function, sine x, times the derivative of our log, again, of a g of x function. So I'm going to have 1 over that inside function times the derivative of the inside function, so times 5. Then we'll have plus well, the derivative of our sine x function, which is cosine x, times log 5x. So we see that this will simplify a little bit, and we would have this uh, derivative is equal to sine x over x plus oops, cosine x log 5x. Okay. So what about this example? Here I've got g of t is equal to log of log of t. Notice that this is not a product, but it's a composition of functions, where I have log of t as my inside function, and I also have log of something as my outside function. So when I go to do my derivative, again, I'm remembering that the derivative of log of g of x is g prime of x over g of x. Okay, So I've got 1 over my inside function okay, times the derivative of my inside function. Well, the derivative of natural log t is 1 over t. So our overall derivative will be 1 over t natural log t. Okay. So as a last example here, we've got one where we have, instead of a natural log, we've got a log base 5. So we have to remember how that rule goes. So we've got um, our derivative here of log base 5 of x e to the x is 1 over what's inside, x e to the x, times the natural log of 5. Okay. And then this all gets multiplied times the derivative of our inside function, so we're using the chain rule. So the derivative of x e to the x involves the product rule, so we have our first function times the derivative of the second function, we know the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. And we see that we can get a little bit of simplification, and we factor out an e to the x, we have x plus 1 in the numerator all over x e to the x natural log of 5, so those e to the x's cancel. So our simplified derivative is x plus 1 all over x natural log of 5. Okay, 
So we, we see how we can use um, these derivative rules in some basic examples. Um, one of the big applications um, that's very helpful with um, our log rules is um, logarithmic differentiation. And to get us ready for that, we're just going to practice um, taking a function where we've got a log involved. Okay, We're going to use log rules to expand this function out and then take the derivative of the expanded version because we'll see how log rules um, can help us get a um, more simplified looking function that's much easier to take the derivative of. Um, so we're not doing logarithmic differentiation yet, we're just seeing sort of how log rules can be, can be helpful to us. So with this initial function here, I've got g of y is equal to the log of, so this whole thing is inside my log function, um, 2y plus 1 to the fifth all over the square root of y squared plus 1. Now I could take that derivative using a log rule and using the chain rule and using the quotient rule, but goodness, that's very messy. So we want to try to expand this with log rules. So remember that log of a over b is equal to log of a minus log of b. So I can make this log of 2y plus 1 to the fifth minus log of the square root of y squared plus 1. Okay. So what are we going to do next? Well, next we can use our rule that log of um, some kind of x to the r is r log x to pull some of these powers down. So we're going to have 5 log of 2y plus 1 minus 1 half log of y squared plus 1. Okay, so that's all equivalent to this initial function g of y, and it's in a form that's much easier to um, take the derivative of. Okay, and we can't simplify this any further. We don't have any rule for dealing with log of something plus something. Okay, it's log of uh, let's see, where can I write this other rule? It's log of um, a times b that equals log of a plus log of b. We have no rule for log of a plus b, so this is as simplified as it goes. So now we can just go ahead and take the derivative. So we've got g prime of y, we're going to have our constant, and then we're going to have times the derivative of this log function. So the inside function is this 2y plus 1, so I'm going to have times 1 over 2y plus 1, and then times the derivative of that inside function, which is 2. Then we'll have minus 1 half times 1 over y squared plus 1 times the derivative of that inside, which is 2y. So we see that the, the, um, excuse me, the derivative simplifies to 10 over 2y plus 1 minus, these 2's cancel, y over y squared plus 1. Okay, so using the log rules to do the simplification made that derivative a lot easier. Um, and what we'll see in class is the technique of logarithmic differentiation um, introduces logs into a problem in order to make use of the helpful properties of log rules and simplify um, the taking the derivative process. Um, please let me know if you have any questions.